I'm kind of not excited to watch Chahai in though. Okay, I've changed my mind. She's my favorite character now. The year 2023 was such a great year for anime watchers and as we have entered 2024, we expect it to get good or heck, even better than the last year's shows. And on that note, here are some of the top most anticipated anime which you have to watch in this winter 2024. The first one is Solo Leveling and I can easily say that by far, this is the most anticipated anime to be watched this season. If you don't know what Solo Leveling is, then let me tell you, it is based on a Korean web novel series which follows the main character Sung Jin Woo, whose main purpose is to fight in a dungeon for survival and money for his family. Initially, he was indeed very weak but after surviving in one of his first missions, he was chosen by a program called System which chooses him as its sole player and in return, it gives him a lot of overpowered abilities including the ability to change anyone he kills into his minions, thereby giving him the title of Shadow Monarch. And I'm definitely excited for this anime, I'm kind of not excited to watch Jahai in though. Okay, I've changed my mind. She's my favorite character now. The second anime is Metallic Rogue. This anime is about an android girl. Hmm, now where have I heard that plot before? You look lonely. I can fix that. On a second thought, never mind. Metallic Rogue is an anime about a world where humans and androids coexist together with the androids, and those androids are called Neons. But that coexistence comes at a risk when a group of people called Immortal Nine rise up against society. Man, this kind of reminds me of the movie Joker for some reason. Eh. Hey. Never mind. Anyways, this anime will have two protagonists. One android is called Rogue Red Star and Naomi, who have gone to Mars to stop the group of the people who will revolute against the society. God, I feel like Joker whenever I say the word society for some reason. The third anime on this list is Hokkaido Girls are super cute. Now, we all know despite of all the actions and other things, a season is not good without pure romance and being down bad and this anime provides us with exactly that sort of element and it also has the elements of being down bad too. This anime is about a guy named Tsubasa Shiki who has moved from Tokyo to a countryside and he literally has zero experience with girls. But he meets a girl Minami Fuyuki who is his classmate and is really kind of straightforward and way too flirty initially. He thinks that her actions are immoral but later on he comes to appreciate his straightforward nature. Yeah, right. I'm sure he appreciates his straightforward nature. Nothing else. Boy, as if I couldn't predict the same thing that happens like in a lot of anime that are adopting this kind of storyline, right? A shy guy and a straightforward girl. Sheesh. Anyways, moving on to the next anime on the list, it's Mashal Magic and Muscle Season 2. How can I forget about our local alpha and sigma male Mash, who literally thinks that he can change the world with just his bare fist? If you don't know what this anime is about, then it's about a guy with zero magical powers. In a world where magic is everything due to this, he has literally made himself physically strong in all aspects and has reached the pinnacle of peak physique. Not to mention, he has also risked up girls even without knowing it, and I'm kind of excited where season to takes my favorite sigma meal too. <laughs> The next anime is Blue Exorcist Season 3. Oh my god, how long has it even been that I've watched it? I remember watching it back as a kid. It's Season 1 and 2 was so good. This one is an absolute classic. To give you a brief summary, it is an anime about a guy named Rin Okamura who lives in a world which is divided by humans and demons in the form of Ashia and Gehenna. He may look like a normal guy but in reality, he is the son of Satan. This anime has everything. Good animation good plot, good music. So if you want something classy to watch this season, then this is exactly your thing. You waited. Of course. Alright, the next anime is Classroom of the Elite Season 3. How can I forget about my second favorite edgelord literally me character, Ayano Koji Kiyotaka. I mean, the first position of being the best edgelord definitely goes to Sid Kagano from my perspective. Anyways, Ayano Koji is the guy who plays 4D chess in a school where there are literally other intelligent people, just not of his caliber. An emotionless sociopath, the perfect human with the capabilities to manipulate anyone. Honestly, the way he beat the heck out of Ryu 
Ewan and his gang in the end of season 2 was absolutely amazing considering that he has been the indirect leader of class T with Suzune Horikita as the outwards class leader. He has guided his class to victory on various occasions and I'm sure that this season will be exactly as good as the previous ones. This brings me to the last anime on my list and that is Haikyuu movie The Battle of Garbage Dump. This will be about the battle between Karasuno and Nekoma, a true classic. And if you don't know what Haikyuu is, it is a sports anime that follows the journey of Hinata Shoyo into becoming an absolute beast of a volleyball legend. By the end of the series, it is so inspiring and nothing like other sports animes out there. So I will definitely recommend this to you. Anyways, with this, we have come to the end of the video. So if you like my concise commentary on anime and gaming, then do leave a like, share and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I will see you on my next video. Peace.